A 2018 midterm closing GOP argument paid for and produced by the Trump 2020 re-election campaign. But this could all go away if we don't remember what we came from. What this ad shows is things are getting better. Um, we need to continue to vote Republican. Brad Parscale is campaign manager for Trump 2020. The fact that the president already has a campaign... Hi, Donald John Trump. ...filed for re-election the day he was inaugurated is unprecedented. Never mind what Parscale says is a $6 million ad buy on TV and digital when Trump's not actually on the ballot yet. Sometimes success can bring complacency, and we have to go and remind them. The economy is, is not just a given in the United States. It actually takes work. There's more opportunity and security to invest in the ones that matter. It's produced to be more Super Bowl commercial than political ad, the same emotional approach used to sell Trump 2016. You have to make people feel things. I think that's what commercials are, from a commercial for a, um, a car, a phone, or anything that might be. They want you to do it. I mean, the first iPhone was sold by how exciting it was to look pictures of your family, not how great a phone it was. Trump 2020 has already raised a whopping 100 million plus dollars, causing some hard feelings among Republicans running now, saying... The Trump campaign is gobbling up all of our dollars, it makes it hard for us to raise money. Yeah, well, I, I think that's, um, you know, unfortunate, but um, I think we're doing everything with that money we can to help them. Um, I would say that the president being out the rallies and being able to pay all those is significant. They are becoming shows. They are, I mean, fans walk out now and say, that was awesome. He's like, putting on a show? I mean, I think we, I think part of it is we put on a show. I mean, it's, it, politics and marketing and politics is a presentation. Part of the Trump show tends to be harsh rhetoric towards political opponents and the media, which Caesar Sayok lapped up at a Trump rally last year. Federal authorities say they have proof that Sayok sent 14 mail bombs to critics of Mr. Trump, including two former presidents. Another package bomb forced the evacuation of CNN's New York offices after it was discovered in our mailroom. Does the president, his rhetoric, bear any responsibility? I don't think, and I, in any, the president or myself in this campaign, we, we don't condone violence in any way. I want to be very clear with that. Do I think there is a, a fight against the media and the Democrats? Yes, but I think it's one that's done with our heart and our minds. And I don't believe it's something that, that's ever been done with a fist. And I would never, ever believe that or ever try to do anything that would ever condone violence against anyone, any media, any Democrat, anybody in this country. And I don't think this president does either. The president of the United States attacking, you know, calling the press the enemy of the people. Do you think that that, given the events that we've seen, goes too far? No, I, I think this president wants to fight for the American people. I think that's what he's doing. It's not only rallies. Trump's campaign sends fundraising emails attacking media, specifically CNN. Parscale apologized for the timing of one sent under Lara Trump's name the day a pipe bomb was found at CNN, but not the content. The specific line, it's time for us to give the media another wake-up call for the American people. Yeah. You see how somebody yeah. can take well, that like and it. say, oh, that means I can... You know, well, the wake-up call is to show them 100,000 names that don't like it. You know, there's a lot of different wake-up calls. We should not always assume that everything is violent. But what about people who take it that way, who don't have all of their mental faculties? Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I mean, there's not much you can do about those kind of people. And I'll tell you, as one of the lead Trump people and kind of the, I would say, the, the campaign manager of the army of Trump, that I would never want any single person to do anything violent against anyone. Um, um, I don't think that's how you you change the minds. I don't think that's how you change the country for the better. Given the events, are you going to sort of think differently about how fundraising emails, things that you control, you can't control what the president says, I get yeah. that, no, are going to be worded? No, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, look, I, again, I think this, it's unfortunate, you know, and I don't, this should never happen to anyone. Um, but, I, but to say that we're not in a fight for what we believe is, is not true either.